And here we go. Hi Al, this is your uh, tutorial on cleaning up audio. So let's, uh, as they say on the internet, tutorials, let's dive right into it. So I've imported two versions of Begin the Begin. Uh, I put them on two audio, f uh, uh, audio tracks. Uh, the first one is called Original and the second one is called Copy and I've literally just duplicated the track. So that kind of doubles up the volume and makes it a little bit easier to hear. So nothing is going to be happening on the original track. All the magic is going to happen on the copy. Now, if I go up here to the uh, left slightly and can you see where my mouse is? If I click on that little arrow there, the disclosure triangle, you'll see now it will open the audio properties or the uh, audio mixer. And you'll see that I've inserted uh, some plugins. And the first one is Clarity VX. And you can see that it's on that second track. It's on the copy. If I double click on it, it opens Clarity VX. And you can see that my settings are neural network is broad. The analysis is double. Well, that's important. It just means it tries harder. And we're about 38 to 40%. Uh, from from nothing which doesn't do anything to about you know 38 40 percent something like that that sounds about right to me and it will work with any audio program or pro uh, so there we go that's done and underneath that I've got a tube model compressor which is actually part of Premiere and I've just inserted that you just click on the arrow and you get a drop down list and you can insert things so this one, the preset is default, and um, I'll leave it on default. So it's just actually, and I, I've, I've increased the gain by about four to five dB. See, it says 480. So that's that done. And then this final column here, this is the uh, stereo output for the whole, the whole thing. So if you look, I've inserted a graphic equalizer with the preset vocal presence boost. If you double click on it, you can see it. And that just does a little boost at around two. It's about 2K, a little bit of, a little bit at eight maybe, but mostly 2K. Then there's this program called Mastering. These are all parts of Premiere Pro. And you can see I've used the preset warm concert hall. It adds a little bit of low end and it dips a little bit of upper, upper med. It's, it's actually quite nice. And then finally, a hand limiter. And the limiter is on the default preset and in other words when that gets to minus 0.1 db the limiter will kick in and it won't distort so there it is that's everything so uh what i'll do is i'll play begin the begin first of all just muting the uh just playing the original track without the extra one And that should start playing in a second now, shouldn't it? I have stopped it and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unmute the track that's got the clarity on it and a little bit of compression. Hit the home key, go back to the beginning and I'm going to play them both. And you probably noticed then that when I hit the mute button, the vocal went very quiet and into the background. And when I brought it back in, it was big and loud and everything. So there you go. That's it. I'll send you this as a video. And I'll also send you this project file so you can have a look at what I did. Remember the uh, disclosure triangle. There you go. That's the secret, that thing that I keep clicking there to get into the effects. You probably know this from video inserts anyway. Uh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to press F10 and that's going to stop the recording. See you later.